Good morning, everyone. So, um, my bulimia is going pretty good this week. I have really, really, really been working on trying to get back on my uh, keto diet. So, keto is a fantastic way to get off of bulimia because here's the deal. Everyone who's bulimic wants to be thin, obviously, right? You're throwing up your food. For those of you that don't know what bulimia is, it's when you eat your food and vomit it, which I'm telling you, there's a good... I'd say 95% of the celebrities are bulimic. Uh, that might even be short. I mean, it's probably like 99%. I mean, almost anybody on in a position where they're on TV or a model or something like that or an actor or something um, or a, 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 a rock star, if they're not fully bulimic, they've probably dabbled with it. And when you dabble with it, it's hard to not become fully bulimic because it's very um, tempting to say, hey, I can eat whatever I want. I just have to vomit it. But the problem is that there are many, 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 many side effects. And the number one being that if you continue being bulimic, there's a very high probability you will get cancer. Um, because cancer is fed by sugar. And bulimics consume way too much sugar. Um, consume way too much sugar. But they throw up some of it. But here's the thing. Sugar goes right into your bloodstream. Um, it's the easiest thing to digest. So even if you vomit. So let's say you ate a bunch of food. Let's say you ate. Let's say for example. Let's say you ate some macaroni and cheese, some hamburger meat, and some cake, okay? The first thing that's gonna go be digest is the cake. Um, then the macaroni and cheese, and lastly, your hamburger meat. So what that means is, when you go to vomit, you're gonna be vomiting the things that are the best for you, and you're gonna be digesting the worst things. Cause it takes longer for your body to break down complex carbs. And the last thing to break down would be meat. Meat is the hardest thing to break down. That's why it is the thing that will make you the thinnest when you eat it. Because your body has to work so hard to digest it that by the time you get to where you're con your body's ready to you know, absorb the meat nutrients, there's no sugar left. That's why everybody's doing the keto because keto is a zero, basically a zero sugar diet um, when you're doing protein, because, unless you're adding a bunch of stuff to your protein, which don't do that. But if you just do it sticking with your protein, then by the time you get to the end of it, there's no sugar left. So you, for one thing, can't get cancer. People say, oh, it's massive cure for cancer. The cure for cancer is to not consume sugar because cancer feeds off of sugar. If you don't give cancer sugar, it can't survive. So even if you had a bunch of sh cancer taking over your body, cut out the sugar and it'll start to die off because it has nothing to live on. It doesn't live on the meat <laughs> like we do. Cancer doesn't live on meat. Cancer lives on sugar. Same with most every disease and candida and all these things. Uh, you get candida overgrowth is a thing. You can look it up online, read about it. Candida overgrowth is something you're going to get from bulimia too. And that will cause so many issues. I had that uh, many years ago. and um, It takes a while to get that through that. You have to eat a all, all meat diet to get rid of candida overgrowth. 